At the Leaf Funeral Home, family, friends and politicians streamed in to view the body of former cabinet minister John Nyaga. The 2017 presidential candidate passed on this morning while receiving treatment at the Nairobi Hospital. Members of his family gathering at the hospital on receiving the news. To me, he was my, my uncle, my father, my good friend. I've lost a ve very close friend. I'll miss Joe, but I know he's with my husband, my son, my parents. So he's in a better place than I am. His brother, Norman Nyaga, confirming that the 72-year-old, who was only 16 days away from his 73rd birthday, succumbed as a result of post-COVID-19 effects. The post-COVID effects on his organs had badly affected him. His lungs had been very badly affected, uh, destroyed about 95% of his lungs, and everything else was okay. He would do occasional um, dialysis, and he seemed to have been improving until day before yesterday when the various doctors, almost eight of them that were looking after him to try and save him, uh, found that his lungs had been destroyed beyond measure. At some point, he recalled the very last moment he shared with his elder brother. Joe did me the greatest favor that a brother can do to a brother. And that is, he waited for me to come and hold him along with my wife. We held him. We chatted with him. I'm sure even when you're in comatose, you're able to comprehend and hear what you're being told. We then prayed with him. And as soon as we finished praying, the world closed on Joe. President Kenyatta said the former minister was a trusted leader whose outstanding service to the country saw him serve as a minister in two regimes. In a message of comfort to the Nyaga family, President Kenyatta eulogized the two-term Gashoka MP as his friend of many years and an influential, approachable servant leader whose wisdom will be missed by many. It was also a day of bad news for the people of Machakos County and the country at large. Machakos Senator Bonface Mutinda Kabaka died while receiving treatment at a Nairobi hospital a week after he ended up in the intensive care unit. The family of the late senator alongside several political leaders visited the Lee funeral home to view his body. It is not easy for any family to go through what this family is going, right, uh, going through right now. But we want to pray that God's grace and mercy will be sufficient for them. To the Kabaka family, the president eulogized Senator Kabaka as a resilient and devoted leader who worked tirelessly for the well-being of the people of Kenya. Former President Mwai Kibaki, Deputy President William Ruto, and former Prime Minister Raila Odinga were among leaders who mourned the fallen leaders. Makori Citizen TV.